Hi Kita fam, welcome back to my channel. I am really happy to be making this video today because it feels like it's been months since I've made a video. I haven't made a video in a few weeks um, because I have not been well. Um, if you follow me on social media, you would have seen that I was in hospital for five days. Uh, on the 14th of December, myself and my family took a trip to Ireland to go to a keto meetup in Dublin and also spend some time with my family just for the Christmas period, um, just to exchange gifts, see everybody. But the day after we arrived, um, I ended up having to call an ambulance and I went to a &E because I had a particularly bad gallbladder attack. Um, so it, unless you've you've experienced it, it's it, the pain is indescribable, but it it becomes. Um, let me step back. So the pain starts here, kind of just under your ribs at your sternum, but it actually goes right the way through the back. So it actually feels like somebody is stabbing you in the back and in the front at the same time. So um, initially, when the the pain started, I had taken uh, some medication and waited a little while, but by kind of 3 a.m. I knew that it wasn't going to go away and I needed to call an ambulance because I badly needed painkillers. Um, so the ambulance arrived and they gave me um, a, a, a painkiller that you inhale, like, like a whistle that you inhale. Um, and that really helped alleviate uh, the worst of the pain. Um, it's not a painkiller as such, but you kind of get really high so you don't care about the pain. Um, so they admitted me to I to A and E, um, and I was put straight into a cubicle, and they gave me paracetamol and oxycontin um, via drip. Um, unfortunately, they didn't touch the pain either, so I ended up on morphine. Um, the morphine stopped the pain immediately; it was instant, and I was actually able to sleep for a few hours, which was great. Um, so I was supposed to travel home on mon on the Monday, but by Sunday afternoon, um, it was very clear that I wasn't in any way um, able to go home. So I had an ultrasound done and my gallbladder was very inflamed, but they saw that I, actually what was causing the problem wasn't the gallbladder itself. It was that I had a stone stuck in the bile duct between the gallbladder and the pancreas. Now, this is normally what happens. Um, if it gets stuck and blocks the duct, you can end up with pancreatitis, and this is why people need emergency surgery. But my numbers started to go down, my inflammation marker started to go down, and I started to feel better, but I was on very strong anti IV antibiotics. There was like a 20 mil syringe going into my arm four times a day. Um, and I was on a lot of painkillers. I was on oxy, I was on paracetamol. Um, and after the Sunday, I didn't need any more morphine, but I was on, on the painkillers. They gave me a lot of painkillers those first few days. So after speaking to the surgeon, he said, you're not going home on the Monday. You're going to be in till at least Thursday because they were giving me IV antibiotics. And that was just in case um, I ended up with pancreatitis, which can be fatal. Um, if you've seen my very first video that I made, you'll know that my uh, reason for starting making these videos was that a guy I knew died from pancreatitis, which was caused by a very low fat diet. So I am back, I am feeling fine. I haven't had surgery, I didn't need to have surgery. Um, I came home the Friday before Christmas, but I really needed to take some time off just to, um, just to heal. Um, as well as that, I was on a really low fat diet for two weeks, so I wasn't eating keto, unfortunately. I really, really wanted this to be a keto Christmas. It wasn't, I was on the low fat diet. I'm not gonna go into now what I ate, the side effects of what I ate and how I got back on keto, even though I still have this stone stuck in the bile duct. Um, I'm going to explain that in another video because I don't want this video to be half an hour long. But I wanted to take the time to come on, to tell you guys what happened, to tell you that I'm absolutely fine. I am fighting fit. I am back, ready to get started for the new year. I'm also really, really happy to be able to tell you that I have launched my very first product. What I've done is created a four-week email induction for keto. And this is basically 
all my knowledge, all my experience put into four ebooks and each one will be delivered every week to your inbox directly to you and it contains all the information you're going to need to help you get through that first month on keto and um, kind of food you should be eating, what kind of exercise you should be doing, information on electrolytes and basically everything I've learned about keto I have put into these four ebooks and they will be delivered to you each week to help you with that induction period and I'm really really happy to be able to do it um, and it's something that I was working on a lot before Christmas. You will also get access to a private Facebook group just for people who have completed this course and you'll get special invitations to live YouTube events for Q&A or whatever you guys want to talk about. So I'm really happy to be back, really, really happy to be back, happy to be in front of the camera and I will be making another video that will be um, probably next week I will um, have it ready to go just explaining about the whole low fat diet and, and what happened um, during that, that low fat Christmas and how I managed it. I want to take this opportunity to say thank you to everybody who messaged me during this period to make sure that I was okay, make sure that I was still alive. I really really appreciate your support and your caring and kindness during this time. I hope I managed to reply to everybody. I did try and reply to everybody but if I missed you I'm sorry um, but I do appreciate you taking the time to message me. So if you like this video as always don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you again next time. Bye!